Willkommen zum aktuellen Gold Invest exklusiv -Interview. Wir sprechen heute mit First Graphene, einem australischen Graphenproduzenten, der in letzter Zeit entscheidende Fortschritte gemacht hat. Heute ist bei uns Executive Director Peter Youth, uh, der uns einige nähere Erläuterungen zu dieser Entwicklung geben wird. Welcome Peter, it has been a while since we last talked and First Graphene has been very busy during that time. What arguably has been one of the most important developments, though, is the recent granting of the NICNAS, if I pronounce that correctly, approval to the company. Please explain what that is and what it means for First Graphene. Yeah, hi, Bowen. It has been a while and it's nice to be speaking with you again. Our staff have been really busy in the preparation and lodgement of the NICNAS application. This improve, improve, approval was important as it places FGR in a unique position of being the only company in Australia which is legally permitted to manufacture, import and sell graphene powders. Okay, so Fresh Graphene is the first company to receive this approval and as such already has a huge advantage over the competition. Now if I understand correctly though this advantage uh, is even better uh, as your application data is protected for five years. Could you please elaborate on that? It was necessary for FGR to obtain many research reports in preparing its NICNAS application. And as we're a member of the ECHA REACH consortium, we were able to use this data in our application. Now, none of this data will be released for a period of five years. So this means other potential manufacturers or importers will not be able to get a free piggyback on the considerable work which was completed by FGR in getting this approval. Oh, okay. Um, now, there was a thing in the recent press release uh, where First Graphene said that the Department of Environment and Energy will still have to respond to the NICNAS report. I guess that's just a formality? Yes, it is just a formality from the Department of Environment and Energy to respond to, to NICNAS. Okay, perfect. So, if NICNAS approval allows First Graphene to still start to start selling its product in Australia. Tell us what is happening in that regard, please. Uh, perhaps you can give us a short overview of what orders the company already has lined up and in which areas you see the most potential to quickly start sales apart from that. Um, as we've stated previously, our product concentration at this point in time is on composites and polyurethane products. The reason for this is we know our product improves the mechanical performance of those materials from a flexural, abrasion, and tensile strength basis. But, and this is important to many potential customers, we're also seeing improved fire retardancy characteristics in the polyurethanes. However, more verification is required on the quantum of this improvement. So we're dealing with a number of entities and looking, looking to finalize supply agreements with those parties. Sounds interesting. But you're not only focused on Australia, apart from first graphene being the only company licensed to sell graphene there, uh, you're also only one of only a few that are allowed to sell up to 10 tons, I think it is, of material in the UK and Europe. Are you making progress in that respect? Are there any sales to record already? You are correct. FGR is one of only four companies which are permitted to sell up to 10 tons of graphene powders in the EU and the UK. So this means FGR is the only entity in the world permitted to do that and also manufacture and sell in the Australian market. Our UK office also has a number of potential clients. And in fact, smaller quantities of graphene powder have been sold to entities in Europe and Ireland for testing. Okay, good to know. Now, the news about NICNAS uh, has allowed the first graphene stock to break out of the range. It has been trading in this year and uh, the market cap has risen close to, I think, 120 million Australian dollars. Do you think, in your personal opinion, that this is a fair valuation and, and where and why would you see additional potential? In my opinion, this re-rating of the FGR share price is deserved. Of the graphene entities in the world, we are unique in a number of fronts. Firstly, our outline, as outlined previously, there is our unique regulatory approval position for manufacturing sales. Secondly, we have a ready-built production capacity from which we can start selling bulk graphene um, quantities. 
Our facility in Henderson is arguably the largest graphene manufacturing facility in the world. Our product is unique. There is no one else producing a product to compete with the PureGraph range, and certainly the PureGraph 20 with its large platelet size and enormous aspect ratio and strength. There is no doubt we are the world's leading graphene company, as our positioning statement says. Okay. Thank you very much for taking the time talking to us. And we'll, of course, uh, be checking in to see how it all goes now you've, that you've got these important approvals. Um, thank you for taking the time. Thank you very much for the interview. Good to talk to you again.